Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a chance to enjoy the eclipse, whether it was on television or you got to catch a glimpse of it, hopefully a safe glimpse of it this afternoon on your own. I wanted to talk today about the eclipses that we have that are not just scientific events, but they're personal events in our lives. Sometimes we can have things that are very much a part of our experience. They're important, they're big, um, and they're very close to us like the moon. And they do, like the moon, have an impact on us. But the moon is just a reflection of the power of the sun. And the moon does not have the amount of vital impact that the sun has on our lives. If we were just a tiny fraction farther away from the sun, everything on earth would die. It is absolutely critical that we depend on the power and light and energy of the sun being in perfect proximity to those of us who depend on it for life here on earth. And it's that way with our human experiences. There are things in our lives that are truly significant, that offer us life, that offer power to who we are and the fact that we can actually sustain life and we can often get those big, seemingly very near and very urgent things that eclipse our view of true life, of actual truth, of the things that our very experience depends upon. And when those things get in the way, we hope that that's a temporary situation. You don't want to live forever in an eclipse because you focused on it for too long. We don't want to live forever allowing that urgent thing to take away the light of what gives us true existence and life. So those are very important things to remember as we go through our human experiences because things that are, are crises can become an eclipse to us seeing that God does want to benefit us and bless us and his love is still there and his nourishment is still there and his his sustenance for our life is still there but when we experience grief or we experience some kind of medical crisis or a legal issue or a loss of a job those things in the moment are going to block out our ability to see that God's blessing and his love and his provision and his favor are still there we just for that moment cannot see and feel it however that thing just because it is close in our space does not have the power to rule out God's continued presence in our lives sustaining us. If we were further away, we would not be able to get through that moment. And it's important not to focus so much on that closer crisis, that closer bit of our experience, that we miss out on recognizing the truth that God is still there. So that is very, very important. Um, when you're going through a crisis, remember that that crisis will pass. When people are experiencing depression and grief, it doesn't feel like that moment will ever pass. And while grief will always be there, just like the moon forever shadows the earth, um, grief changes in its part of its cycles that we go through with grief. You don't ever want to have to forget the person that you are missing, um, but we will move into a different part of grief and move into a different part of living with that being a part of our atmosphere always. Um, it does not always have to eclipse our experience of the warmth and light of the sun. And that is just a passing moment. When people go through depression, that can feel like a very urgent crisis moment. However, it's very important to communicate to those in your life that are going through depression, maybe at this time right now, that this is a passing moment in your experience. Even if it's a recurring moment where you often feel this eclipse happens, it is a passing moment and you don't want to treat that as if it is a forever moment that you will stay in and you don't want to create a permanent solution to a temporary problem by focusing on that eclipse and blinding yourself to the rest of your life. So that is very, very important when it comes to any crisis. It's going to feel urgent. It's going to feel like it eclipses everything else. But remember, God is still there beyond that, above that, and the power of God reaches through that. That's why they tell us not to stare at the eclipse, because if you try to stare at it, you're not going to be staring at the moon. You will be 
getting the rays of the sun directly into your eyes. The power of the sunlight is able to overwhelm and surpass the placing of the moon between the earth and the sun. It cannot shield us. That crisis does not block God's presence any more than the moon actually can block all the powerful rays of the sunlight. So that's very important to keep in mind when you're going through a crisis. Just because you cannot see or feel God does not mean his power is no longer with you or shining upon you. And it doesn't mean that the principles that are true in the word of God for you cease to be true in the moment of a crisis. Those moments when we feel like we are in the dark that is when we most need to cling to the truth. And we need to remember that the light is important to us in those moments. Still giving life to us when we can't see it and when we can't, when we can't feel it. We are people who can choose to believe when we can't see. And that is one of the gifts of being human. Is that we can understand more than our senses provide for us. So that is something I wanted to just touch on today since we have the opportunity with the eclipse to think about that. Don't allow the negatives in your life to take the place of the greatest positive, the greatest blessings, the greatest life-giving opportunities to experience the radiating warmth and love and presence and sustenance of God in our lives. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.